everyone and welcome to another video that we are going to keep painting this Nurgle vest and for the moment I think I'm going to start for the guts that he got on the frontal area okay there are many different ways to when different uh, ways when you want to paint guts or this kind of open ones one of the easiest and fastest way is painted with a clear color like maybe a pink or a light flesh for example okay and then you can only apply a wash of red ink or red wash or directly you can paint it with a citadel paint like this one like the blood for the blood god that it's really really nice paint to make blood effect and blood splits and it also works a little bit like an ink so it's going the, most of the paint is going to finish at the edge and the corners of the of the sculpture so in this case i'm going to paint it with a pink color like a base and then i will apply with washes and the and the technique uh, blood paint also this pink i'm going to clear it a little bit more i'm going to put a little bit of light flesh to make it more clear and then the the watch will work more stronger and i don't have to work too many lights to make all the volume on the on the sculpture i'm going to mix it like 50 50 uh prox and here we go Here I'm being very careful just to stay inside of the lines and maybe later I paint another good in other color. On the top area I think there is like worms or something like this so I think I'm going to paint it with with some kind of bone white or bleached bone or some white with a little bit of yellow to, to show that what is there's a lot of worms and other kind of insects going out there the big good under the other ones the one that is here also the one i don't know what is the name of the of the other one but well i'm going to paint it in two different colors so you can show that there are different kind of organs and all of this i'm also keeping very carefully the line between the flesh and the bone okay so it will uh, make easier for the wash to work and make the difference between these two different areas I'm going for the purple shadow of nocturna colors okay they got a really nice medium colors and I'm going to use it some another different uh, colors on all these parts that are floating out from this one also you if you want you can use uh, a dark red or just another red so at the end you can paint it as you want it maybe also with greens it can work like it's some rotten inside So we are back and I just used the hard dryer to dry it fast all the area that I have just paint and uh, I'm not going to use the blood for the blood god directly first of all I'm going to use a wash of the red blush from or blush red from green stuff wall and last time I used it I really like it so I'm going to to taste it how it works on this area and also the different organ are the intestines I just find the word <laughs> and it's very similar to the Spanish intestino okay as you can see just with 
with one fast wash it also gets these red uh, colors and tones that are more close to a, a blurry and disgusting wound and also we have we have all the different kind of parts of this area very definite so we can only have to work now the lights Now I used to dry a little bit the, the brush from the blush red, okay, and it now is working like a, like a glaze. I'm just painting a little bit all around the edges of the wand to get in a little bit more of uh, red, like it's just a resin wand or like it's the, some infection or it's, it's a wand that flesh. And also it will be more uh, visible to, to the eyes when you are looking that all around the wall is a little bit more red. And now for the worms of the other area I'm going to use the, the eyes yellow that I got already on the palette. And then I will I will paint some I will use some kind of wash to to mark all his teeny details. Okay, I really like to paint on this way, making bases, different bases, then playing with washes and summings, and then working with lights or shadows if it's necessary. Okay, I already got this. I'm going to mix the shadow purple with the yellow and I'm mixing it with yellow because with light flesh or with the pink maybe it goes too much pink and with this color I really like it to, to find all the details and all these different kind of volumes on the, on the intestine just a little bit carefully to not mix it with the fudge that I just put there and I just going to find a few lines to make visible all of these volumes that it got here maybe later I put a third light but for the moment I'm going for this and I'm going to keep working on other points of the miniature Now the wash is going to get a little bit drier, so I'm going to make some more nurgle things. In this case, I'm going to use the built-in green, another wash, okay, to put uh, another layer on the on the wall. It's a little bit randomly, but work with uh, green with red, it always works very good and also give them a, a more rotten and a more noodling looking that I think this miniature is what it wants as you can see it just gives me another tone and some area of the of the goods and I think they they look really nice for this miniature So I'm going to use uh, another time the hard dryer and we got it done. Okay, the worms are already dried and I'm going to use another time the blue red wash, another time. You can use any red wash that you have. I don't remember exactly now, the, I think it's crimson something, the red from Citadel. You can also work with it, it both of them works perfectly for this kind of situations. So more or less we already got this. And I think with the dry with the dry with the hair dryer I also dry the, the the washes that I put on the on the goods so I can we can start working here on the lights. So on the pink I just put a little bit of sunny flesh to make a more clear and intense color and now I'm going to start painting all the upper area of here like uh, on the other times just to mark uh, the volumetry and show more uh, with more definition all the different parts of this miniature 
Okay, just go very carefully, follow the lines that the wash just draw for us, and it's just repeat another time the same mechanic of painting. And now you can understand a little bit more how what wh what is going on there. <laughs> okay, I just put a little bit more of light flesh now on the already mixed set paint on my brush, and I'm just putting some little dots, okay, to make that to make them like this kind of uh, reflect effect. All the goods are to be uh, shining, so I'm just adding little points on different parts here, always looking for the upper area of the modeling. And here we got reds, we got greens, we got uh, pinks, and also we got uh, like almost white. So we got a, a very nice uh, mix of colors for make something organic. And now I'm going to put the last light for the intestine and just a, a little bit. It doesn't need to be a very clean transition. Mm, it's uh, when you see something shining, if you look at some painting or some illustration, you will see that when they want to show you a shining part, they are not making a super clean transition they are making a strongly transition with very uh, contrast between the different colors and this is how you get this kind of effect and also working on different kind of transition it will help you to show what kind of material are you painting so it also works to make more difference between one part and another Okay, we almost got all the one here, as you can see, f very fast, and it make and it, uh, it looks very, very nice for for just uh, a few minutes painting it. So meanwhile, the other parts are getting drying. I'm going to start painting the tongue of the head, and I'm going to use a uh, heavy black green. Okay, I want to paint it green. Let's see how it looks. And we also go out from the pinks, red, and warms color. It's going to be very colorful, this guy, <laughs> too many different colors, but well, it, I think it, uh, it will work very nice. And Papa Nurle love the colors, I think. Oh, just a regular base, okay. A and I think that this green and black for the fly on the arm maybe will look nice. And also I find that here in the back he have another wand. A and I'm going to paint it on a different way. I'm going for the scarlet red, okay? So you also can see another way to paint another way to paint uh, same uh, areas. The scarlet color is a uh, it's a very nice color for me to work with reds because it have a little bit of orange but not too much to to to, to go to an orange so it's very nice to work with uh, another reds to make lights without going too much to the pinks or the orange so here we go i mix it a little bit with uh, light flesh to make more mm, salmon color okay because you when you are making a base like this thinking about to use uh, before a wash sorry to use uh, after a wash um, it's nice to get a clear base so then the wash will work better and will create much more uh, contrast I'm finding another uh, small ones and I think they are just these two here in the back. All the others are already painted. Okay, we got that base done, so we are going to keep for the we are going for the fly on the arm.
I'm using the heavy green because I want to make a strong base okay for the fly and I also am going to mix it with a little bit of black just to make a really good a really um, uh, dark base so I got more um, more room for say it some way more room to work the lights and I'm going to make a light with a lot of uh, contrast to to try to make a replica from the shell of a green fly they are very brightness they got like these metallic effects so I'm going to try to do something similar for the moment I'm painting everything on green and then later I will see if I make some some distinction with colors on some areas For the moment, uh, I want to base a green base, and I want to make a, a green fly that I think they are the most disgusting mm, beings on the world. For the hair of the fly, I'm going to paint it with uh, black, and then I will make some lights with grey. Just a good base of black, so after I can work it without any kind of problem. Just be very careful on the front part uh, here, okay, just uh, a little a small line, if not you are going to repair all this area, the hive just there. Okay, we got all the black areas worked and all the green also worked. I'm not going to follow an order here, okay, I'm going to show you how I work normally. Um, I always paint jumping from one area to another. I also have a lot of paint on the palette, so I think I can go working to one place to another. And also, meanwhile, I'm working on another place. The last one is getting drying, and this is how my methodology of work. I'm not used uh, focusing one area and then going to another and then to another. So now I'm going to to go a little bit faster, and you will see how how I work normally so now with just a yellow I'm just painting the lines of the worms here on the front uh, uh, one okay and just painting some lines uh, it uh, you can make understand that this is a, a worm I'm 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 not even moving the brush I'm just pushing a little bit the point of it on the on the worm on these very teeny details and just pushing a little bit and marking the lines and it's just like a small dot okay now you can see it Let's make a little bit of room so the focus of the camera didn't go crazy. And now as you can see, almost all the front part of the one is already done without too much complication or strange techniques, just going for a base, wash and lights, that's it. So now the same green as I use it for the base of the tongue, I'm going to mix it with a little bit of light flesh. And now I'm just going to start working these two lines that have on the tongue, okay, like a regular tongue, and just paint here in the mid area. 
and on the last part I'm just going to make a last light just to, 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 to show it the other form and also in this way you are making your volumes as you want it okay to show what you want to show of the miniature and also in the upper area I'm going to paint everything not uh, also the, the middle part and then I will add a little bit of of the ice yellow to the mix and now just few brights okay some points i didn't paint in one in just one brush stroke i used the different ones i make few few small lines and here on the point i'm also at another line and now I'm just going to go down with the line following this form it has on the tongue this regular like a snake and just the last one adding a little bit more of yellow a very clear color and just few points here where the tongue starts going down and on the down area also a little bit let me correct because here I going with the light too far and also I'm going to add a little bit more here on the side to keep drawing the, the form okay on this point Meanwhile the flying is drying, I'm going to take a little bit of black and going to paint the base to that kind of glasses or lens he have on the head. Uh, I'm going to paint them grey on the future, let's start doing this. And this is what I told you just a moment before. Didn't wait for get dry other areas or whatever, if you don't want to use the higher dryer you have uh, always a lot of different parts on a, on a miniature so go working go preparing the bases go using the washes meanwhile you are working other parts of the miniatures but the important thing is to not stop painting and just a black base here on the lens and the glasses or this kind of whatever he have here on the head and also we already have this prepared for the future and if you don't have any more place to work on the miniature then take out the hard dryer and also I'm going to paint the black base to these metallic parts on the on the horns One of the of the details I really love of Nurgle is that the they horns. Sometimes they got worms inside, they got the horns broken. In this case it have a screw and like a piece of rope there hanging. So oh, it's very it's it's very characteristic and charismatic Nurgle. And already we have the flight dry, we have painted the tongue and a few more details meanwhile and we can go work, work back to, to the flight. And in this case, uh, after this dark base I'm going to work with a uh, hade green, okay? Why the hade green? Because it's, uh, it, it's also one of my favorite colors and it's like a uh, green but with a little bit of blue and it make it this kind of uh, shining effect that w is what are we looking for for this for, for this flight if you look this uh, typical green uh, disgusting flies they aren't uh, pure green they got like this metallic shining so this is what i'm looking to 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 reply or make something at last uh, similar 
so here I'm going to paint a lot of uh, it's like a, a sketch okay where I'm going to put uh, the lights and all the parts that I'm interested in, in work also because we are looking for the for this uh, metallic effect uh, the transitions have to be very strong and also if we are looking to work on this fast way to paint uh, war games miniatures and all of this and for the other side we are going for the same way all the upper area of the fly is where I want to paint with dark greens with the black maybe you didn't see too much uh, what I'm painting but then when I start giving the lights you will see perfectly what, what, what is what I'm doing here I'm just keeping the same way as the other parts just painting all the top areas okay well so now on this one and it wasn't the where well you have the name of the of the paint used there now I'm going for the color green I think uh, before I have said color green but it was the scurvy green now I'm going for the color green it's another green with blues but this one is more uh, clear color and you don't have to mix if you uh, I have uh, a lot of colors and all this kind of uh, green hades I got it on bottles so I don't have to go working on mix and, and all of this so I can go more faster now I'm going to paint all the details of the forms it have the fly here I'm just aligning on the superior area of the arm and the hand hand or whatever it got there also here on the upper area of the eye and the back of the fly also working all the details to draw all the volume and form that it have keeping on mind that effect that I want to do that kind of reflect that kind of uh, shell here on the head also put a lot of attention in all the teeny details because he have a very beautiful face it's like a, a pet you really want to, to make fluffy on him and all of this on the other side the same I'm just going as you can see with very teeny dots just marking everything of I want to tell about this part of the miniature also here in the arm and all this upper area over here and a little bit on the hand I'm not being very clean on this point yeah, you don't have to be careful about this we will keep working on it with two more layers so and the general looking will be nice so one of al also one of the things that I wanted to explain on this kind of videos and all of this is as uh, I want to show you how a miniature can look like oh well, it has been you have been taking a lot of hours to paint it and all no 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 I'm just going painting uh, and putting attention on few details that I know he, they will make all the miniature work and this is one of the ways I think it's uh, the best way to paint uh, armies if you want to do something fast if you have uh, your army uh, taking dust on your 
on on a box for for years so you don't have no excuses to find them and to do it making them look great and this ring you can read the name of course because that bottle have a lot of years <laughs> but it's the fall green it's a uh, green very 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 clear okay i think that i really love it to to use it for lights on the hada greens also for pine ghost or like the new night hounds from um age of sigmar this color it's really really nice it's very brightness and just I'm painting few lines. Oops, I think I paint a little bit of the belly. Fix it. Now I'm just going for the details and for, um, for the points. I just want to, to, to make them visible on, on this part of the miniature. So another line here, another one over there. Just few lines. You can see now in the camera that it's already uh, getting the shape of the fly. Here on the top area of the head, I'm just putting a little bit more of attention, okay? Because it's where the, the eyes of the people is going to put uh, their sight when they are looking this part of the miniature. And painting all the top areas. Just a little bit more over there. And just going a little bit more aggressive with the brush to go there. Um, almost the, it's already done the, the fly. I'm just putting a little bit more of light, just getting a little bit more of ice yellow. And they are going to be the highlight, the last lights, okay? Just to put more contrast a little bit here on the top of the eyes. As I told you, the head is very important always in any miniature, just on the body, a little bit more, and on the arms. And small lines and small dots. You, are, you have only to look at the, the last part that you have been working and, and just keeping always the same, always working on the same point on the, of the miniature, but every time taking less and less room to make that uh, trans the transition of color or that contrast of lights. Oh, I think now we are focused. One, two, three, four points. A little bit under the eye and here keeping drawing. It's not the most clean painting of the wall, but as you can see, it, it, it's working. The fly, for me, it's done. And, and we can keep working on the different areas. And for the moment, the base of the eyes are going to be with the glory red, okay? But well, uh, I think this will go in for another video, okay? Because this is going a little bit longer. So on the next video, we start working the eyes of the fly and the different parts of the miniatures. And we are going to the final countdown of this model. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it will be very helpful and see you on the next video bye bye and of course any question i will answer whatever you have see you